okay dear students so let us uh, do this question now the statement is a horizontal disc rotates uniformly at a constant angular velocity so we can say it's omega about a central axis normal to the plane of the disc and there are two points one is x and another is y point x is at the distance of 2l and the point y is at the distance of l from the center of the disc point y has a linear speed v okay the linear speed v will be perpendicular to the radius vector and a centripetal acceleration of a okay fine so centripetal acceleration is the acceleration that the bodies have when they are moving in the circular manner in the circular fashion and this is the acceleration which is directed towards the center of the circle so that is why i have shown a like that now what is the linear speed and the centripetal acceleration at the point x okay fine no problem so the mass is not given so we can just assume that the mass of these two will be the same okay fine so we have to comment about the linear speed of x fine so there is a formula which is v is equal to r omega and uh, for y it will be v is equal to the radius is given as l and omega is constant so omega will be given by omega so we can write omega is equal to v by capital l and uh, for x i can say that v dash will be equal to v is equal to r omega again and the radius is 2l omega is constant because it is moving at a constant angular velocity so omega will be taken as constant so omega here is equal to v dash divided by 2l so on comparing 1 and 2 because omega is same in both of the cases i can say that v by l is equal to v dash by 2l so v dash will be double the velocity of y so either b or d should be our answer so v dash will be equal to 2v so that's the first part of the question now the second part is what will be the centripetal acceleration okay fine so i am just rubbing this a little uh, or i can write it here only so the centripetal acceleration formula is given by v square by r and that's the formula and now we are going to put the values uh, for y centripetal acceleration will be given by v what is the velocity just a moment please uh, velocity of the y is given by v and the radius is l but for x the acceleration will be given by v dash now which is found to be 2v so 2v whole square divided by the new radius which is 2l so from this i can say that ac dash is equal to 4 times v square divided by 2l so it will be twice of v square by l and v square by l can be substituted from this equation to this so it will become twice of the acceleration earlier so it will be 2a so definitely our answer will be b so this is uh, one of a very conceptual question and if you have any doubt in this please do let me know in the comment section and then we can i would be uh, i will try to redress all your doubts regarding that so with this thank you all the best bye